With just over two weeks until the midterm elections, it's time to zero in on why you should vote, why these elections are so important, and what's at stake here. This is Genevieve with The Scoop from New Scoop. So why are the 2018 midterms so important? I think they're important. It means everyone's staying. Peace. Put me on blast right now. I can't do this. Okay. The 2018 midterms are important because... Um, okay, well... <laughs> no comment. Exactly. There are a lot of misunderstandings over what this election is really about. Let's look into some of those reasons and why they're so important to so many people. Reason number one, we gotta talk about it, healthcare. It's really taken over the nation in the debate surrounding these 2018 midterms. You have two very different plans for how it's going to proceed. You have the Democrats trying to restore the protections uh, issued under the Obama administration, the ACA, the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. Um, or you could have the Republican perspective, which sees us as spending too much in an inefficient system uh, to help people. So, you know, you really have these very distinct choices to should we spend more or do we spend too much? Uh, and voters cannot directly affect what's going on inside insurance companies and doctor's offices, so this is their way to get out and vote for what they think is right and affect change. So it really affects a lot of the nation and everyone gets into it because whew, healthcare is expensive, you know, we gotta figure out what's best for us and our families. So reason number two, civil liberties. We have seen in our country, it's been a fight, fight to vote fight for women to vote, fight for African Americans to vote, and that's just the start. Um, fight for gay people to be able to get married, to receive tax benefits, all of those things. And right now we're seeing a period where our current administration does not want to always protect those things. Um, this very morning, the Trump administration proposed in a memo to change the definition of Title IX, or definitions in Title IX. Now, Title IX, uh, is about gender discrimination in public schools, universities, the workplace. So it covers huge expansive. It's a very large agency that we see affecting students' daily lives. Um, now they would change the definition of gender, so at the heart of what Title IX is, to be determined on a biological basis that is clear, grounded in science, objective, and administrable. That means potentially genetic testing to determine what genitalia you were born with. So, Reason number three, control of the legislature. This is obviously on voters' minds. I mean, that's what we're voting on. Will Democrats take back the, or take the 23 seats that they need to gain control of the House? Uh, or will we stay in the stasis that we are in? Uh, the Republicans see if the Democrats would take control of the House, they would completely bog down the Trump administration with the requests for documents and all that. I'll get into that in a second. But two of the most important committees in the House, the Judiciary Committee and the Oversight and Government Reform Committee, they have quite a lot of power. Um, they all currently have Republican chairmen, since that's the way it works with the House. For Democratic control, they'd have Democratic chairmen. Uh, they have the ability to subpoena documents in the Trump administration. They have the ability to compel testimony. They have the ability to make people come forward and talk to them so we can greater understand what's going on. And that, the importance of that cannot really be overstated. Reason number four, immigration reform. Both parties say they want immigration reform, but we gotta look at the two different meanings of that. The Republicans wanna curb migration to this country, thus the House and Senate let DACA or Deferred Action for Childhood Arrival expire. That means that kids who came here, their parents brought them here when they were young, are no longer in the citizenship process. Um, Democrats really want to see that expanded and want to see more people be able to come to this country, whereas the Trump administration rescinded temporary protected status for countries around the world that are experiencing turmoil, gun violence, gang violence, etc., whose citizens have fled here looking for a safer life. All right, big one. Number five, reproductive rights. We've just seen in this country the huge divisive battle over the nomination of Justice Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court. Now, we as citizens were not able to vote for him, but now it's your turn. Now people are on the ballot that you can vote for that will decide this. Uh, for example, in Minnesota, there's a Senate candidate who says that 
Women can only take Plan B if they're in the same room as the physician who prescribed it. Uh, now, the Democratic side wants to see more funding go to Planned Parenthood, safer access, more help for women, more subsidization of drugs that can prevent pregnancies and help with endometriosis and other things. But the Republicans are really highly against that, some for religious reasons, some for funding reasons, you know, everyone's got their reason. Um, but this is one of the most, this is one of the issues where we see the clearest difference between what the parties want. I really do hope that this video has been helpful uh, for you in understanding why it's so important to vote and the reasons behind it and what could possibly happen. So guys, make sure to, you know, stay involved, keep up with the news, and go vote.